but with one but. Hello, my name is Chris and this is Writing Delight. Today I have a fountain pen from the brand Festina here, which we will take a closer look. Festina is to some perhaps a name as a watch manufacturer, originally from Switzerland. Now we have from Festina here the fountain pen Classicals Chrome Red. Because Festina now also carries a small selection of stationery, and this fountain pen was thankfully provided to me by the company free of charge for this test, as always without influence. The fountain pen is packed in this box, which has another case made of cardboard. The box is hinged. The fountain pen is held securely in here. The inside of this box is soft and flexible. It looks noble and keeps the fountain pen safe and protected. The fountain pen in this version is striking, because already its red exterior catches the eye, but also the silver decorative elements provide a good and, in my opinion, pleasant contrast. The cap is divided in two parts. The lower part is red, the upper part is silver. The clip also starts from here. The Festina logo or crest is engraved on the back. Just below the cap is a silver decorative ring on the barrel. This barrel in turns end in a silver finial. Embossed in the decorative ring is the word Festina. Underneath plugged and well-fitting cap is a silver grip section and stainless steel nib. Let's take a look at a few details. First, here at the beginning of the clip we have the typical Festina F in this shape. This can also be found on many watches from Festina. It is one of the trademarks of this company. On the back in the silver cap part is engraved the official Festina logo. The logo which is also a crest. Here we can see the nib in exact details as usual. And also the markings on the nib. But a little more about that later. The slightly offset look through the whole of the ink feed is not bad. This can only be seen in such a detailed view and has no influence on the writing characteristics. The nib tip is neatly finished. Let's move on to how the pen feels in the hand. It's very comfortable for my taste. Balanced. We don't have any particular emphasis here on the nib or on the end. With the cap posted, the weight is slightly shifted towards the end. Still, it remains comfortable in the end. In terms of length, it is also comfortable in both cases. In the writing sample, the fountain pen behaves pleasantly. The nib writes well. The nib is relatively stiff. It glides well over the paper with slight feedback. Minimal stroke variance is achievable with enough pressure. But not enough for me to talk about flex. By the way, I filled this one with Kaviko Ruby Red ink. Overall, I can say that the fountain pen is quite pleasant to write with. It is quite fun to use. But let's take a look at the fountain pen compared to other pens. I have the fountain pen here with the Visconti Homo Sapiens, Arnemühle Bold, a Waldmann Commander, Alami Studio, and Alami Safari. The fountain pen is well in the field here. It stands out because of its red color, but not because of its length or diameter. In this respect, it is rather standard. In the second comparison, it is with an online Bohemian Art, an Otto Hood Design 04, 
Arceus Creepband Aura Laguna Dragon, Apelikan M800 Blue Blue and Across Townsend. Again, the fountain pen is well in the middle of the field. It does well in both comparisons. Now, the Festina company is not the big brand in the stationary sector. I'm sure we are all aware of that. But it doesn't have to mean anything. There are many small brands that make great writing instruments. Is Festina one of them? I'm a little torn on that. Now, of course, Festina is not a small brand per se, but in the stationary space, it is. And I like the look of the fountain pen. The workmanship itself is actually good too, but there's one but. The nib. It writes reasonably. In the detail shots, you can see that the slot is not quite centered through the pattern of the nib. But this is only very noticeable because there are detail shots. Not optimal, but only a small point. The fact that the channel of the ink feed does not pass through the center here on the detailed photo can have various reasons. The feed is centered. But even that is not disturbing in writing. And it is not visible during normal viewing. But why did they use such a standard nib? With the writing, it really on point. Without a Festina mark. In my opinion, this unfortunately downgrades the found pencil board. Yes, in the end, the decoration of the nib does not affect the writing characteristics. But it doesn't match the overall impression of the rest of the found pen. And the brand, as it certainly sees itself, or would like to be seen. But apart from that, it is a good pen. Pleasant to use, balanced and wide. And yes, I enjoyed using it. And in the future, perhaps changing the nib would put the finishing touches on the fountain pen, in my opinion. By the way, if you like this fountain pen, it's also available in other colors, namely in white, black, gray and blue. However, there's only one nib size. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little review. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to write me in the comments. And if you're really kind and liked this one, subscribe to the channel as well, if you're not already a subscriber. That would help me a lot and make me immensely happy. In any case, thank you very much. See you next time.